Hi everyone, when you buy yourself a second hand camera, sometimes you get some accessories like these or like that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Camera flashes and how to use them. Let's check this out. Although flash comes in different shapes and forms, they all use the same principle. This flash, for example, the MESS 45 is um, one of the most popular flashes in existence. If you were a professional photographer in the 80s, the 90s and the early 2000s, you were probably using something like this. They were powerful and very reliable. So what is the principle? Well, you have this a small light sensor in front that reads out the light emitted by the flash and obviously the light reflected by your subject. Once the amount of light is sufficient, the flash stops emitting light and the exposure is correct. But how do you set up the exposure on your camera? Well, that's a pretty obvious and let's have a look at a flash here. The first thing you want to do is to set your camera to the sync speed. It's uh, usually written in red or with uh, a lightning bolt in front of it, so it's pretty easy. Now let's have a look at the flash. This the Nikon SB20 has a few settings, like here you have the ISO setting, which is uh, pretty normal. You simply match it to the ISO of your film. And on this uh, right selector, you have different positions. These are automatic positions. And uh, right here, I'm going to be able to use an aperture of 4. If I'm using this setting, I'm going to have to use an aperture of 8. The scale distance tells you the maximum distance you can use your flash. So on this setting, you can see this is 4 meters. Besides uh, 4 meters, well, you simply use another setting like this one. And then there we go. We are good to shoot uh, the subject uh, up to a distance of 8 meters. Pretty easy. It is so easy, it sounds unbelievable, but just have a look at this experiment, shall we? I'm gonna hold up the flash, I'm gonna press the test button on the back, but I'm gonna put my hand in front of it. And you see, the light from the flash is gonna be reflected to my hand, and um, you might not be able to see it on video, but you're gonna hear it. See, very faint and small flash. And now if I remove my hand and I fire the flash, gonna close my eyes see obviously a bigger amount of light emitted by the flash and that's how they work if we look at this flash which is another brand obviously and a different model you have the same settings you simply set the ISO setting 100 ISO and there we go we have to use an aperture of 4 or an aperture of 5.6 or an aperture of 8 the distance setting tells you the maximum distance you are going to be able to use your flash. Pretty easy to do. And guess what? It even works with digital cameras. And I'm going to prove it to you since I'm uh, doing the filming this video with uh, a digital camera. That's what we're going to do. There we go. And it works just fine. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. As always, uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.